Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. I've got Trent Munoz right here, wrestler. But I was showing a little bit of submissions tonight. And I had like a Kimura that I wanted to share with you guys that is a little uh, non-conventional. But it's still a great way to finish someone. I got some great details for you. Um, I'm going to show you guys something that's really popular. Most people call it the Kimura trap which used to bother me quite a bit. And I'll tell you why, because I've been training a long time and the Kamara trap was never called the Kamara trap. Um, you know, David Avalon comes out, starts talking about Kamara trap. Everybody starts talking about it. And now pretty much everyone uses that phrase. I don't have a problem with it that much anymore. I just want to say it. It used to bother me a lot, you guys. So all the old school guys probably know what I'm talking about. We always would say, it's not a Kimura trap. It's just called a Kimura. Or for you catch wrestlers, the double wrist lock. The point is, it was always there. It's nothing new. But nowadays, everybody's like, dude, have you seen that Kimura trap? Okay. So here's what I'm going to show you guys. I have a wrist control. And then there's many ways to do this. A lot of guys do it as counters to single legs or takedowns. I'm going to have the wrist and I'm going to set my opponent up. I'm going to actually purposely grab the collar and open up my elbow and basically kind of fight like this here. I could be looking to like pull him and maybe step into a Sotagari and maybe trick him. He don't like that, huh? So yeah, you know, he doesn't want that. But he may think, oh, I could take that leg anytime I want. Notice I have the wrist control. So as I fight and I give this guy what he wants, he just can't, he want that, don't you? Because it's right there. If he takes that single leg, I pull his head out and I go straight to it. Now remember, once my hand inserts, lock it up, and I prefer no thumbs. Now, never let your opponent body lock you right away. If you let them do this, you may go flying, and then we gotta play some other stuff. I gotta play outside hook, okay? We'll get into that another time. What I wanna show you today is don't let them lock. So I'm in full control of this wrist. As I'm here, I'm opening up, okay? He goes into position, I lock him up, and now we're fine. We've got the Kimura trap, if you will. Once we're here, I've got my sumageshi leg. Notice the knee is on the outside, toes on the inside of that thigh. We're gonna go ahead and hop forward and we're gonna take him for a ride and sumageshi him all the way over. Okay, next, when you guys go to this position, in the most standard way, you may hit this move. I mean, sometimes you roll with it, I'm gonna give you the more, more basic, what I start out teaching students. I just basically cover the head, finish on top, and I finish my Kimura. I get him here. Notice um, my right elbow is at the elbow, elbow to elbow. I'm not like down here by the shoulder. And then when I'm in this position, I prefer, I close my thigh right here tight on his head. I like to be like this. And then now my weight's distributed on him. He try to move. It's really, really hard to move. And then I'm just gonna pull the elbow to me like this, okay? So, a lot of people have great details. Um, Chris Brennan's one of my favorites. Um, he's got great Kimura stuff. I did learn some good stuff from uh, catch wrestling guys over at the last uh, clinic. But uh, anyway, if you got some other stuff you'd like to do, that's fine. That's your basic. Of course, this Kimura trap system oftentimes leads to a back take or an arm bar, so again, Look at my entry. I start out here, I'm going collar tie, get some wrist control. I'm snapping the guy, the guy takes the leg. Look, I pull his head to the outside. If he does, wants to go head inside single, and he's here, I grab his chin, boom, pull his head to the outside, insert, I'm ready to go. Knee is poking out on the outside. Do not let your knee go inside. Don't do that, okay? Poke your knee on the outside. It's gonna be much easier for you to sumageshi. Step, hop forward. See how I cover? If he sits up, I'm straightening. Uh, try to turn and sit up, full sit up. My knee inserts, leg goes over the head. You guys can be in a nice arm bar position right here. I always prefer to transfer my legs. In this current state, my foot is in the armpit. Sometimes it'll be here and he'll be locked sometimes. And then we'll go to some type of grip break, you know, whatever you choose, whatever you like. Okay, that's on. We've got back takes, we've got all kinds of cool stuff. But the Kimura thing that I told you about, the finish that I really, really wanna show you is this finish. 
that a lot of you guys probably haven't seen. Obviously, the experienced, you guys have probably seen this. Okay, I'm gonna get the position. He goes, maybe he hits a duck under on me. He tries to go to my back. Notice, just turning for the camera. He's here, he's trying to take me down. I put the leg up, sweep him. He sits up, I go belly down. Now, this is critical right here, watch this. If I wait too long, he will make it to his knees. You see that? And now, we're both like this. We're both here. I'm not gonna get too fancy. I have stuff from here too, but we're not gonna go from here. Before he sits up completely, he tries, you go belly down, and now watch what I do, guys. I go left elbow towards the mat, right elbow out. So if you look at my elbows, my left elbow's on the mat, my right elbow flares out, and it applies force to keep his elbow elevated. My left hand forces his hand to the mat, and then once I do this, I turn my left hip down, and I make sure that my rib cage right here is putting pressure on his shoulder, okay? And what this does, like try to sit up now, so you can't sit up. Now, I'm here, I can just apply that force, this torque, like, like I'm going here to break the shoulder. The more pressure I put with my rib cage against his shoulder, try to move, and you can tap when you feel it, right there. Now, there was a fight long ago, I was there live, uh, it was like WEC, I don't remember the year, it was probably early 2000s, uh, Nick Diaz versus Joe Hurley, I don't know if it's on the internet, but you guys could check that out. I still remember watching in the crowd when Nick went around the head like this. Like from a Kimura, usually you see this style of finish. Instead, he went here and he literally took this arm and wrapped it all the way around. It was nasty seeing that thing break when he broke Joe Hurley's arm. Joe Hurley was a good fighter too, like a lion's den guy back in the day. Anyway, Nick Diaz, all right? So you guys, I don't know if that fight exists on the internet, it probably does, check it out. So I'm gonna do it one more time and I'm gonna make you try it, okay? So check this out guys. So if you haven't seen that Kimura finish, it's kind of similar to a lace Kimura or where you weave the arms and you walk around. Um, wrist control, I'm, I'm playing here again. Maybe I'm looking for more of like a judo style. I'm trying to go here and now he comes for the leg. Notice how I don't let him attack my waist. If he wants my waist, I don't let him get his body lock. Shuck his head to the outside, I lock it up. I prefer, guys, you guys can go thumbs. I prefer no thumbs. I feel much stronger and much better. I do it when it feels convenient. Once I get a good position, good moment, if he locks around my waist, that's not so hot. I lace the leg, break the grips, now I'm ready. Sweep the guy, I'm rotating, he's sitting up. Boom, I rotate all the way over, belly down. Now he can't sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. I turn my body this way. See how I go left hip down and I lift the elbow. Boom. So if you guys wanted to, you could theoretically get your Kimuras here. And then once you get your Kimura or double wrist lock, you just walk around the head. Walk all the way around the head. Don't even stop with covering his head with your leg. Just walk all the way around. The one thing you don't want to do is you just don't want him to take your left hand trap and push against my shoulder and pull your, basically distance your right shoulder from, yes, don't allow that. That's how he will escape. So go ahead and go back. Notice how I stop that. Start to push, you can get into position so you can see. See, once he starts to push, I apply force. See that torque? And now it's all over. Broken like a chicken wing, okay? All right. You ready? So this guy's a wrestler. Can wrestlers learn submissions? You don't really do submissions much. You play around with your buddies a little bit. Yeah. I see, but let's see if you can adapt. Wrist control, he already knows collar tie, he knows wrist control. If he's kind of baiting me, he's kind of turning, turn the hip side, yeah. That's just so enticing to me. Turn sideways like that, turn your head too. See, it just looks like, man, I want that. I want that pulse the elbow, and I want to hit that duck. You see right here, guys? I wanna, I wanna pop, and I wanna go here, uh oh. He's going, come on, he sweeps me. Now once you're here, Trent, 
take this this Kimura. I know you got your thumbs on it. No yeah. big deal. No big deal. You can do it either way. Now, what I want you to do right now, always remember, straighten this Kimura towards the hip like this way. It's hard for me to turn. Now, walk your legs away as you hip heist and go belly down. And now, once you're here, if my hands are like this, you guys can finish uh, with any number of normal Kimura finishes, like the arm bar, straight arm bar, you could Kimura in north south. But what I want you to do now is, is lay back down. Just as you're here like this and you're straightening it and I try to turn, straighten the arm, but bring it to the mat. See that? Now, turn belly down, put all the weight on your left side. So now you're on my shoulder. Oh, and now you've got me in a nice fix. And now I want to defend. I want it, guys. You know what I want? I want to do this. I want to do this. So pin my hand on the mat hard. Yes. And then start kind of turning left hip down. You're already hurting me. But walk around. Walk, yeah, kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, oh, right there. Okay. Old man shoulders. Okay, that was sweet. Do you adapt well? All right, one time fast. Okay, I'll try to move right away. Do you remember? The belly down, get me in that position. All right. Go wrist control, go. He's right there. I go duck. Oh. oh, now I made it all the way belly down. So you know what I'd like you to do right now? Go ahead, I don't rip my shoulder out. Hit a little shoulder roll. Keep the move and hit a shoulder roll. Keep going. There it is, now go. Keep going. Now finish. Ah, right there. Okay, that was good. Nice. So, maybe I'll show that, like shoulder roll stuff and all that different stuff another time. There's always gonna be variations, back takes, arm bars, Kimuras, there's so much, so. Thank you, Trent, appreciate Welcome. you. All right, teach me grappling if you guys like this video. Haven't been doing submission stuff in a while, been doing all wrestling. So hope you guys that are really into submissions, hope you guys, make sure you guys come back and hit that like button, share this video, and uh, keep this channel alive and well. So I wanna keep this going, guys. I know I'm somewhere in the 80,000 range, 85, 86,000 uh, subscribers. I've been thinking about goals. I wanna get to 100K someday. So hope you guys can share this video and blow this channel up even further than you guys already have. Thank you so much that all that do every single time. I have a lot of supporters. Thank you. Thank you guys. And I'll be back for more with more great stuff.